What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified as soon as we drop new content on the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So, um, there's rumours out there circulating and the big rumour is that there's going to be a fight between Chris Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben. This fight would be set to take place at a catch weight. The rumours I've heard, um, according to Gary Faye Davies, is that this is going to be on October the 8th. That's the apparent date of this whole thing. And that is going to be at a catch weight. Um, now, the catch weight, from what he was saying, I think was about 156 pounds. Now, that for me, well, that's going to be a problem um, in Chris Eubanks' case uh, because obviously he's a guy that started off at 160 middleweight and he's been up as high as super middleweight. I don't think he's ever boxed below 160. So, and, and the thing about him is he seems quite shredded already. So, to get him down any lower to that sort of weight of 155 or 56 or whatever it is, to me, that, that's a potential problem. Um, as far as the fight goes, if it does happen, Conor Ben, for me, has got a lot more to gain from this um, in terms of notoriety, in terms of uh, star power. Um, he's got quite a big profile. He's got quite a lot of fans. But um, of the two men, uh, Conor Ben's definitely got a lot more to gain from this. He's the lighter guy. He's the smaller guy. He's a definitely a small welterweight. He's a guy that um, myself and uh, certain other people as well sort of thought, you know, he could easily do maybe 140 pounds. He looks like he'd he'd be a big 140 pounder, but at, at welterweight, he does seem uh, undersized compared to the other welterweight. So. Yeah, for him to be like a small welterweight, be able to step up quite a few pounds in weight and take on someone like Chris Eubank Jr. and to win, um, I think that's that's a lot to gain. And if he loses uh, for Conor Ben, a loss, I don't think a loss will really hurt him. I don't think it will really hurt his stock because at the end of the day, you can always say, well, I'm daring to be great. I'm being brave. I'm going up there, you know, a division north of where I am. I'm a smaller guy, I'm a lighter guy, and I'm stepping up, I'm taking on the challenge. So for me, Conor Ben has got a lot more to gain from this fight if it does happen. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr., on his side of things, I feel that he's he's got a lot more to lose. Um, he's got pretty much everything to lose, really, because he, for, for me, the only thing he's got to gain, really, from this fight is, is the big payday. And I suppose it is prize fighting and maybe that's what the thinking is going into it. Well, you know, I'm going into this to get paid. Forget what people say. I just want to get paid, get the money. And for me, that's all he's really got to gain from it. Because if this fight happens, um, it's my view that a, well, a, a, a big, you know, a, super, a middleweight slash super middleweight like Chris Eubank Jr. should be stopping a welterweight, a small welterweight like Conor Ben. So... For me, he should be stopping Conor Ben if this fight takes place. And if that doesn't happen, if he doesn't stop Conor Ben, or, you know, let's say the fight goes to points, then I think reputation-wise, people will have a lot to say about Chris Eubank Jr. They'll be like, well, you know, you're you're a middleweight, you fought a super middleweight, you couldn't get rid of a welterweight, that sort of thing. So it will kind of look bad on Chris Eubank Jr., if he doesn't get a you know fantastic stoppage, if he doesn't get sort of the KO in this fight, um, I rem I'd imagine that there's going to be a tremendous amount of criticism, um, you know, of the outcome of this fight either way for Chris Eubank Jr. I think if he if he stops Conor Ben, uh, then you know if he stops him quite early, um, they'll say, oh yeah, you were just messing with welterweight anyway. You're fighting with a smaller guy, so that's always what's going to happen. And if the fight goes long, if it goes to maybe late stoppage or points, I reckon people are still going to have a problem with it. Still probably saying, ah, oh, yeah, it took him so long to get rid of a welterweight. It was competitive. 
um, while it lasted and, you know, Eubank just won because he was bigger. So for me, not much to gain for Chris Eubank Jr. I think, um, especially if he stops him early or if he if it goes to points, I think um, Chris Eubank Jr. has definitely got a lot to lose here. And I think the only thing he can do really in this fight is he's got to stop Conor Ben for me if this fight happens. And interestingly, um, Conor Ben came out with a tweet saying that, um, yeah, replying to Gareth A. Davies, claiming that, ah, oh, this is not true, it's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of conflict on, on this announcement. But I reckon it's this fight um, is a big money spinner. And I believe just in the whole nostalgia of the thing, of, you know, the, the fathers being involved, Chris Eubank Sr., um, Nigel Ben to just have them two involved in a promotion that alone is going to make this sort of a you know probably a pay-per-view attraction really so I see this as one of those fights where I'm not calling out for it I'm not really um, too into it per se it's not a fight that I would um, really want to see but at the same time because of the nostalgia because of like my childhood memories of watching the dads go at it you know, to now have the next generation has just got that old vibe to it, you know what I mean? And it's got, it brings back all your memories and the rivalry will be ignited and you'll have all the, uh, you'll have quite a build up behind it. So I think there's, there's enough intrigue about this fight and I think it will do well, it will do good numbers if it does happen. Um, there hasn't been an official announcement I think, you know, as, as I've said, Conor Ben and, and Eddie Hearn, they've kind of denied it. Um, but apparently behind the scenes, they're in negotiations and it's going to be October 8th. For me personally, I'm not going to 100% believe in this until it's announced officially, you know, Matt Room or Conor Ben himself or Chris Eubank Jr., the Southlands, until somebody officially from one of these teams or from should I say both of these teams officially announce it and you know the O2 and all these rumors because it's meant to be in the O2 arena for me I'm I'm still a bit skeptical of it um, for the time being but anyway let me know your thoughts on this uh, potential fight between Chris Eubank Jr and Conor Ben what do you think about it do you think it should happen would you be looking forward to it um, do you give Conor Ben any chance of winning and yeah, that's it. Until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.